Okay, welcome back everyone. <clears throat> now we're going to discuss amortization on our uh, financial calculator HP10B2+. Plus. What we have here is uh, within the time value of money buttons here. So we have periods per year, interest per year, present value, payment, future value. <clears throat> this is how we're gonna, uh, th these are the buttons we're gonna use to input our data. Um, to calculate our payment, and then afterwards, we're gonna use the shift and amort button. Remember, amortization means to kill off. We're gonna use our amort button to um, select the periods that we want, and then uh, figure out how much, uh, and then we'll manipulate the calculator to figure out how much interest in principle uh, we are paying in any given period, and we can determine which periods we want to use. Okay, first step, clearing out our calculator. So shift, clear all. Remember, we always want to do that. And, when, and that helps us understand which periods per year we're in. So again, if I hit shift, clear all, we see that we're in one period per year. If we want to change that, remember, it's 12, shift, and then the period per year, so just underneath payment, period per year, and if we wanna see if that actually reset to 12 periods per year, we hit shift, clear all, and we see 12 periods per year, so we know that it reset. Let's go back to one period per year. So one, shift, period per year, we're at one. We're gonna hit shift, clear all, and we can see we're back at one. Okay, we're gonna keep this simple for the first round. We're gonna do um, uh, eight year period. So in this case, we can just hit eight, eight N. We don't have to do any shift here because we're not accounting for different compounding periods. Remember the calculators and Excel are set up uh, by default for annual um, compounding. And uh, so that uh, was why we don't have to hit shift and do anything uh, there. Uh, we could hit shift at, on a one annual payment and let's see what happens. Eight, shift, and that just gives us eight because what's happening? We only have one period per year. Um, so in this case, we can just hit eight N. It's the same thing. Okay, let's say we are gonna pay, uh, our agreement with the bank is 5% interest. We're just gonna hit five uh, interest per year. Our, the loan we're gonna take out, let's say that it's a $100,000 loan because we are going to buy a Tesla Roadster. So we're in this case, we're just gonna hit PV. We're not doing the negative, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so we're just gonna hit PV, and our future value is zero. Make sure you put in zero, because at the end of the eight years, we hope that we have zero payments left, and we are free and clear of this loan. Um, future value. So we have our inputs in for period, we have it in for interest, we have it in for present value, we have it in for future value which allows us to back into the payment. So we're going to hit the payment button. And what that gives us is negative 15,472. Now why did I not uh, put a negative before the 100,000? Because it's not a cash outlay from us we're receiving the $100,000, so it is a plus for us. The payments we pay every year in this case are the outflow, the cash outflow, and so that's why we want it to be negative. That's why we didn't do a negative on the present value for the loan that we received at uh, year zero. Okay, now let's take, uh, let, let's, um, now go a little bit deeper. This is going to be a little bit uh, more complicated than Excel in determining your amortization, and it can be a little bit tricky. So um, what we're going to do, we're about four minutes and 20 seconds into this. If you have to come back, just know that four minutes and 20 seconds is where you can start. What we're going to do is we are going to figure out um, what interest we paid for year one. So we're going to hit shift amortization and that gives us year one so you see one to one what that means is that is all principal and interest paid within that period so then what we're going to hit after we have the correct periods we want so we just want year one we're going to hit equals 
And you can see here now this amortization box shifted and now it says PRIN, which, is, uh, which stands for principal. So the principal that we paid, this is how much we pay off our loan in year one. Um, so remember our payment per month was negative uh, $15,000 here. Uh, what this tells us is every year we're, uh, in year one, we're paying $10,472 off the balance. Now let's see what goes to the bank and doesn't help us at all. Interest. We just hit the equal size sign again. So just equals. We don't have to shift. Uh, we don't have to do anything special. You just hit equals and it'll take you to the INT or the interest. And you see here that our interest is uh, $5,000. Now that makes sense, right? Because we have a $100,000 loan. We're at 5% interest. So that's $5,000 if you do the math. Okay, now we can hit equals one more time. And that is the balance. So that's what we have remaining to pay. That's the loan balance after year one. So we still owe the bank $89,527.82 from year two to the end of year eight. Now, what we can do too is uh, what we did is we just found one period. We just found year one, but let's say we want to find how much we're paying over the lifetime of the loan. So all eight years, this is a cool little trick. And this is a little bit different than what you've seen so far to do that. We're going to hit one and then we're going to hit input. Okay. Remember that's one input and then eight. Cause that's the last, uh, year that we have eight. Then we're gonna hit shift amortization. And now you see that we have periods one through eight. And if we hit equals, it's gonna take us through. So we have paid a principal of, total principal of 99,999. And my guess is uh, there's some more digits here that it's not accounting for, but if we round up, that's $100,000. Now, what did the bank earn off of this? Because remember, interest only goes towards uh, bank earnings. It does nothing for us other than cost us money. Let's see what interest is. So we paid the bank nearly $24,000. That is money wasted. That does nothing for us. But sometimes, uh, because of the price of things, let's, we have to do loans. And then let's see what we paid total. Or no, let's see our balance. Our balance says 10 cents or a hundredth of a cent here, so one penny. Um, it's not going to be quite exact, and I think it's because we're not taking decimals out uh, beyond the hundredth uh, decimal point. If we took it out to thousandths or ten thousandths, um, then we might have a more accurate number. So just keep that in mind. Excel's a little bit more accurate because behind the scenes it is accounting for um, uh, hun uh, hundredths uh, and the thousandths, the ten thousandths, and so on, okay? Now let's see, uh, we just wanna see how much interest we're gonna pay in the first two years because all we care about is the first two years and then we anticipate a great tax return and we're gonna pay off a tax return of a significant amount, that's unrealistic, but. Let's say we inherit some money and we get our tax return and we're gonna pay the balance. So let's go here. And so we're gonna pay the loan for two years. So we're gonna go one, input, two. Remember that uh, helps us uh, determine that we're going, uh, we're just including uh, period one and period two. And then we're gonna hit shift, amortization, and then the equal sign. So we can go through principal, that's great. We're gonna only pay, uh, that's good to know because uh, the 21, let's just round it up to 21,500. So we subtract that from 100,000 and we're at 78,500 some odd dollars uh, for the balance. Let's take a peek and see what that is. 78,532, so we weren't too far off. If we have a balloon payment, so a balloon payment means after a certain period of time, we the entire debt is called, even though it's being amortized over a longer period, 
that's how much we would owe the bank to pay off our loan. Okay, now let's see if we want to figure out, um, we just care about periods four through six. Again, we're going to hit four, input, six, shift, amortization, and that's going to give us our periods four through six, and then we hit equals 38,021. Uh, $217.31 is the principal we've paid. The interest we've paid during year four through six is $8,199 and the balance is at that point. So mind you, this is still accounting for the uh, prior year. So even though we're not, um, uh, so let me clarify that. The principal and interest are only accounting for, for years five, uh, four through six, but the balance is accounting for all the payments from period one till uh, six, if that makes sense, okay? Because that's the balance that we have there. Okay, so that is how we use and, and manipulate our amortization schedules on an HP 10B2 Plus.